Hello and welcome to the video. So recently I was binge watching YouTube videos, as you do, and I stumbled across one that I will link below that's really good, and it's about a photography method called the Brenheiser method. And what is that? It is basically a really cool looking uh, type of photography where you look like you've got a wide lens, but you've got a really shallow depth of field. It's also called the bokeh panorama or something like that. I'll, um, I'll flick a few um, images on now. So I really like the look of those shots. It's uh, basically an effect where it looks like you've got a wide angle lens, but also there's shallow depth of field all around the subject. So the subject is, the subject is in focus but the rest of it is all blurry all the way around it. It almost looks like it's been shot using a tilt shift lens. So, how do you do this? First you need to get a decently long lens. So, I'm using an 85mm, but you could use a 50mm for this, and you want the aperture to be as wide as possible. So I've got a 1.4 on this, but just as wide as you can to get that shallow depth of field. And then, let's get outside and take some photos. Okay, so what we want to do is with the long lens we want to take as many pictures as we can so that we can stitch them all together in Lightroom. So I'm thinking anywhere from 9 to sort of as many as you like really, you could go up to as many as 20. Um, the more pictures you take the more detail there will be, the more megapixels the picture will be so you can crop in on it. Um, what you want to do is compose your first shot with the subject right in the middle and then take the first shot then, if you're on um, autofocus, then switch that over to manual, or if you're on a manual lens like me, don't touch anything, just leave it as it is, and take the rest of the shots all the way around the image. And then, we'll go back and we'll stitch them together in Lightroom. Now, what I would say is it doesn't always work, so take as many different photos, different types as you can, so that you've got more to play with in post. Okay, now we're back. So, first thing we're gonna do is import these photos into Lightroom. Okay. Then what we want to do is pick any one of the photos and then enable the lens correction. Enable the profile, choose a lens, and then we're going to copy that. Just copy everything. And then we're going to paste across all of the photos. I click and sync. Once that's done, we're then going to go across to photo, and then to photo merge and click panorama. The computer isn't very happy about screen recording. Wait some time for it to create the panorama, and then we're going to choose between the spherical, the cylindrical, and the perspective. See which one looks best. In this case, I think it's this one. Click merge, let it create the panorama, then we can edit the photo. Okay. So, it's made the shot. First thing we'll do is crop it in. There we go. And then do any adjustments that you want to it. Okay, then when you're happy with the shot, just export it, and there you go, that's it. Uh, I really enjoy this photography method, I'm definitely going to be using it a lot more. You should definitely give it a try. It is really interesting. I like how there's blur all around the foreground, the background, the subjects in focus, but yet it's a really wide shot. It looks great and you can try it in loads of different ways. So give it a go, let me know what you think and thank you very much for watching. Mm -hmm.